Hi, welcome back. I'm Aaron Bernstein. By now, we've got a really good handle on whole, half, quarter, eighth, and sixteenth notes. But what do you do when you see this? Time for dotted rhythms. The dotted half note, dotted quarter note, and the dotted eighth note. Simply put, a dot makes any note longer by half. But what does that really sound like? Well, let's go to the map. So far, we've learned basic note values. Whole notes, half notes, quarter notes, eighth notes, and sixteenth notes. And as we go down this chart, each note value is half as long as the previous one. But rhythms in real music aren't always this simple, and there are other note values besides these. For one thing, you can make any note longer by using a tie. Ties simply add two notes together. A whole note can be tied to another whole note for a total of eight beats. Notice we only played the first note and just held it through the second note. As another example, you can tie a whole note to a half note for a total of six beats. Once again, when you see a tie, play only the first note and hold it for the combined value of both notes. Notice also that the tie can go either up or down, and this changes nothing. Typically, the tie goes in the opposite direction of any note stems. All right, let's listen to the last movement of Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. <laughs> Well, just this tiny part of it. Let's check out the rhythm. The first two notes we've seen before. Two beats each, so those are half notes. But here's the next part. That first note lasted for three beats. It's basically a half note plus a quarter note. Now, there are two ways we can write this. We can tie a half note to a quarter note. Two beats plus one. But this is really the same thing as a dotted half note. So the dot adds half of the original note onto itself. Half notes get two beats. A dotted half gets three. And that just leaves one beat on this line, a quarter note. Next line's easy. Four notes, one beat each. These are all quarter notes. Then our final line. The first note lasted for three beats, so this again is a dotted half note. And our final beat had silence, so that's a quarter rest. Now, before clapping all this, we need some rhythm syllables to say for the dotted half note. As you recall, for a regular half note, we say half note, half note. For dotted half notes, we'll say half no dot. All right, here's the full rhythm. Clap it and say it. Half note, half note, half no dot. Ta, 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 half no dot rest. Now, leave it to us musicians to add a little confusion. Be careful about your dots. These are dotted half notes. The dot is to the right of the note head. But these dots are something else. When the dot is above or below the note head, that means staccato, which calls for a short, detached playing. Not the same as a dotted note. Let's continue. We've seen the dotted half note, now the dotted quarter. Here's an old chestnut for you. Here are the first beats of Auld Lang Syne, and listen to the second note. It's almost a half note. It starts here, and almost makes it through two beats, but gives up a bit early. This is the dotted quarter note. Let's start with this rhythm. Ta, ti, ti, ta. So a quarter note, two eighth notes, and another quarter note. Now, tie the quarter note on the first beat to that first eighth note on the second beat. A quarter note plus an eighth note. That is a dotted quarter note. Watch my hands now at the lower left. We'll start with this rhythm. 
ta ti ti ta one more time ta ti ti ta now try this ta da ti ta once again ta da ti ta and remember to make your hands go apart right when you say dot so those are the rhythm syllables we'll say for a dotted quarter note ta dot back to our beatboxes here's our first rhythm again ta ti ti ta then, just like before, we tie the quarter note to the first eighth note, and there's our dotted quarter note. You can see how the first eighth note got absorbed into the dotted quarter, leaving just that second eighth note to fend for itself. No other eighth notes to beam with, so it just has a flag now. So you can see how the dotted quarter note gets the first beat and half of the second beat, one and a half beats. Let's go back and forth now between the top rhythm and the bottom one. Ta ti ti ta ta da ti ta ta ti ti ta ta da ti ta. Now we're ready to clap the rhythm of Auld Lang Syne. First, watch the rhythms unfold as you listen. Now we'll clap and say the rhythm syllables. Ta ta da ti ta 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 da ti ta ti ti ta da ti ta ta half note dot rest. So we have the dotted half note, a half note tied to a quarter note, and the dotted quarter note, a quarter note tied to an eighth. Now there's one more dotted rhythm we're going to look at, and you guessed it. It's the dotted eighth note. Listen to the overture from Bizet's Carmen. This is a signature march rhythm. If Bizet had just used quarter notes and eighth notes, it would have sounded like this. Ta, ti, ti, ta, ta, ti, 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 ta. And of course, that doesn't sound right. The real rhythm is ta tim kata ta tim katim kata. So let's take a look at that rhythm. We'll start with an eighth note and two sixteenth notes. Ti tika, and we'll just add a quarter note for a convenient finish. Ti tika ta. Now we'll tie the eighth note to that first sixteenth note, and as you've already figured out, that's the same thing as a dotted eighth note. The first sixteenth note is included in the dotted eighth and that just leaves the remaining 16th note all by itself. Notice how it's beamed together with the dotted eighth, but because it's a 16th note, it retains that second beam. All right, the rhythm syllables we'll use for the dotted eighth and 16th are tim ka. So let's go back and forth between the top rhythm here and the bottom one. ti ti ka ta tim ka ta ti ti ka ta tim ka ta Now here's the complete rhythm for Carmen. Go ahead and listen first. Now we'll clap and say it. Ta tim kata ta tim katim kata rest. Ta tim kata rest. Ta tim kata rest. So now let's review the three different types of dotted rhythm we've seen. Dotted half, dotted quarter, and dotted eighth. Go ahead and clap along. Half no dot, ta, half no dot, ta, ta, dot, ti, ta, dot, ti, tim, ka, tim, ka, tim, ka. They're really all the same rhythm. It's just that each one is twice as fast as the previous. Dotted half and quarter, dotted quarter and eighth, dotted eighth and sixteenth. Now, just like with all the other rhythms we've learned, make sure you practice clapping these dotted rhythms and say the rhythm syllables out loud. Dotted half and quarter, half no dot, ta, half no dot, ta. Dotted quarter and eighth, ta, dot, ti, ta, dot, ti. And finally, dotted eighth and sixteenths. Tim, ka, tim, ka, tim, ka, tim, ka. Once you've really mastered all the rhythms in these last four videos we've seen, you'll be ready for meter, and that's our next lesson.
I'm Aaron Bernstein, and thank you for joining me.